mentoring program is looking to grow and make a difference here in the new year. And here with what's happening in your community, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Illinois in Rantoul, Christian Hopkins joins us. Hey, hey, welcome. how you doing? Well, we're glad you're here. People may know you as uh, Paula Hopkins' son, our House of Flowers friend. <laughs> yeah, she'll, she's been here quite a few times. Yeah, and so you're here representing Big Brothers, Big Sisters. It's that time of year again for your annual Bowl for Kids' Sake. So what do you guys mm -hmm. have planned? Well, we're always trying to grow the program and spread the word. Uh, we're trying to provide these mentoring services for children in the school system and in the community. And um, every year we have this big bowling fundraiser. Um, each office has their own fundraiser. Um, and it's a really great way for us to spread the word and uh, raise funds to uh, fund our programs. I would imagine there's rarely a shortage of kids and usually a shortage of people to take on the big brothers and big sisters. One, is that true? And two, how do you find people to fill those voids? Well, that's a good question. Uh, in order to screen the right volunteers, you got to spread the word and make them aware that we're in the program or that we're in the community providing these programs. And uh, then you have to enroll the volunteers, do their background checks, do everything like that. Um, as you said, there's not really a shortage, of, shortage, shortage of need, but you also have to identify the right children for the volunteers. That can take some time, and so um, it's a matter of getting the volunteers in there, and then also finding the right match. But you are actually putting the call out for kids to join the program, right? Yeah, it just uh, depends on what your office needs. Right now, in my office, uh, for instance, in most offices, the majority of the volunteers are women. Um, so we're always looking for young male uh, mentors to volunteer because that is where we uh, really have the most need. Uh, but in my office specifically, um, young female students um, in need of mentors are uh, encouraged to apply. Their parents are encouraged to sign them up because we've got a lot of female volunteers who have signed up. Oh, wow. Now, if you go bowling, that doesn't necessarily mean you're volunteering to be a big brother or big sister. That just means you're wanting to help out financially. Correct, yeah. Uh, bowling, uh, participating in our fundraisers is uh, the best way to get involved, or the easiest way to get involved, rather. Um, you really don't have to do much to uh, sign up for a link. You go up to the website, it takes maybe five minutes to sign up for a team, um, and then if you raise up uh, $50 or more, you can participate in the fundraiser and you get two hours of free bowling, free food, free drinks. It's a nice time. Yeah. That could cost you 50 bucks as it is, it right? It sure so. could. So there's a look at the details of the event, but why would you encourage people to get involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters? Well, it's a very rewarding volunteer experience. Uh, the kids love it. The volunteers really enjoy it as well. Um, and it's, you're having fun, you're um, enjoying yourself while you're making an impact in a young person's life. Um, and as far as participating in the fundraisers, um, like I said, it's a really easy way to get involved. And in each of our offices, Champaign, Decatur, Bloomington, Rantoul, uh, Clinton, Danville, it's a lot of them, um, each one has their own bowling fundraiser and all the funds from that fundraiser go to your local office. So if you participate in Rantoul, all those funds are going to go to my office to help provide services within Rantoul. Like what services? What, what kind of services are we talking about? What kind of services do you provide? Well, bringing a volunteer into the child's life and then also um, talking to the child periodically. I myself go around to the schools and uh, form a relationship with the children and uh, check in with them, uh, monitor their progress in school, um, their social behaviors. and. Um, just kind of check in with them and uh, make sure that they're setting goals for themselves and their volunteers. What is it that keeps you personally going to work every day? <laughs> Obviously, a big brother, big sister does this once a week. Uh -huh. You do this is sort of a full-time thing, right? So, uh, yeah. for you, what is it that keeps you coming back? Well, it's the kids. I mean, you when you see a child who is really having a hard time, they're uh, not really set up for success with their uh, situation, and you're seeing them form goals and meet those goals. Um, and you're seeing how much of an impact that volunteer is making in their life, it makes it a lot easier to get up and go to work. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. and if you can go bowling, that's, that's a win-win <laughs> right. win too, right? Sounds like a yeah. good way to work to me. All right, so people can learn more information on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Is that where they can sign up and get their teams lined up? Yeah, you can go to uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Illinois on Facebook or go to our website. Uh, you'll find links to all of the bowling events there, um, and you can go to uh, give.classy.org slash bull ran tool 2019 to participate in my fundraiser at Bull for Kids. And that was very long, but we will uh, yes. provide all that on uh, CI Living's Facebook page for you as well. Thanks for being yeah. here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Tell mom hi for us. <laughs>